Greetings from Team Rex team. Today I'll show you how to add Google reviews to your website in just 5 minutes. I will use plugin from wordpress.org and a query theme as an example. So let's go to our dashboard. Then plugins, add new. In the search field, type in Google Reviews. We will use this plugin for Google Reviews. Click Install Now and then activate it. Once done, you will find the Google Reviews menu in your site panel. It has three items. Widgets. Here we will have all our widgets, settings, enable disable plugin, a Google API and some advanced settings. And the last item is support. Here we can find some tutorials and we can upgrade to a business version. Then we have a full installation guide and official support. So let's return to the widgets menu. Click on the create widget button. Let's give it a name for our widget. Let's say we have restaurant. Then click save and update. Now we will connect to Google. First we need place ID. When you click on this icon you will have two links. One is for Google Places and the other one is a tutorial. So first we need to find our restaurant on Google. Then open the inspector and finally copy the place ID. So let's do this. I will search for my favorite Italian restaurant Le Magnoli. Then click on Google Reviews. After that right click on the review button. Inspect and here we will copy this data PID. Now return back to our website and paste the ID. Choose the language, in our case it's Italian. And then click Connect Google. Excellent, the plugin pulled the data from Google. Here we have this letter with reviews and sum up information on the left side. Let's go through the settings really quickly. Here we can change the layout from this letter to the list. In common settings we can customize pagination, character limits, hide some things like based on, quick review button, the entire rating header or reviews themselves. In the slider options we can change the sliding speed in seconds. One second will make it really fast while 10 seconds will make it really slow. Also here we can control the text height in pixels. The default height is 100 pixels. Then we can hide background and make it transparent. Hide navigation buttons and hide pagination dots. In style options we can customize the reviews container. Its width and height. When you change the value the plugin automatically rebuilds the layout one, two or three columns. You can also control the positioning and set the dark background. And finally we have some advanced options. You can enable a lazy load for images, use the default reviews link, open links in a new tab and use a nofollow link attribute. You can also change the avatar size, set the cache period and limit the number of reviews on your page. When you are done customizing your settings click save and refresh. Now let's add these Google reviews to our page. Return to our widgets menu, then click edit on our widget and copy the shortcode on the top of your screen. Now let's go to our page. On the top bar click edit with Elementor. I will add a section for our widget right under the slider. 
In the search bar, type in short code. Then drag it to our section. Now simply paste the short code there. It will appear on our page immediately. And finally click update to save the changes. Now when we go to our website, we will see Google reviews of our restaurant and it will work perfectly. Now the customers can leave their reviews right there by clicking on the review button. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.